Hello and welcome to part five of the horse trailer fix-up series. Wanted to do this video a little bit different. I had a ton of film, did not want it to turn into a 20 minute video. So I'm just gonna show y'all how the interior turned out on the living quarters. So from previous videos, we saw the floor, plywood floor stained black, and we saw the brick paneling on the back wall, but that's where we left off. So I went with the pegboard for the walls and ceiling and it turned out pretty good. I mean, it gets the job done. This particular wall turned out great. The uh, windowsill fits in there great. The electrical outlet fit great. And I'm pretty happy with it. The paint looked good. I painted the uh, pegboard on both sides as a anti-moisture, anti-mold uh, measure. And I got the light mounted up here. It's at an angle, which is kind of how it was when I first got the trailer and the old paneling was in here. Um, it's a little bit rough with the slanted piece here and the ceiling. There's some gaps and such, but, um, the job I was trying to accomplish with this was accomplished. And that was just to cover all that insulation and framing up and make it look a little bit better. Uh, this area here actually looks very good. I'm quite happy with it. Um, there is some gaps that I may or may not try and fill in with some pieces in the corner. This one, I probably will fill that. That will be easy. Long strip running along here. These were fun trying to get these on the ceiling. This is a four foot by four foot. I put it up there myself and hammered it in all on my own. So uh, left the end open. I just didn't want to lose six or eight inches framing in the end. I may cover all that with some gray paint to make it blend in a bit better and call it a day. Or I may do nothing. I don't know. We'll see about that. Um, the other uh, switches mounted up pretty nicely here. I used drywall screws on the inside of these if there wasn't a stud behind there. And the drywall screws, the course style, worked really well. Everything's all looking good here. New table. So I did not want to put the big table in. The big table would go basically from wall to wall and took up about a quarter of the floor space in here, maybe a third. I didn't want to do that anymore needed more wanted more space and uh got the table for the coffee maker and such the cubbies have plenty of room to set things down and i put this nice shelf in which is actually very solid and i got a piece of wood i stained it the same color as the floor turned out great so you can put your phone there wallet keys uh, night kit you name it small objects um, water bottles Anything like that would go great on the shelf. So I'll probably put a little chair in here just to have something to sit on. And uh, that would be the interior. So AC fits pretty snug on here. I did shim out the um, framing under here. You can't see it, but uh, so the AC fits over top of all of these. The plastic panel is on quite tight though. Um, the screws really needed to be a bit longer for how I set it up, but it's gonna work. So that's the review of the interior. I think it turned out pretty good. Oh wait, one more, one more thing. I also got this nice rug to go in here for the winter time so that your feet aren't so cold on the floor. And uh, it's very soft, almost perfectly fits, just a little too long on that one side, but um, covers over half of the floor space in here and i'd say it does the job and looks nice so that is it for the interior all in all i'm satisfied with how it turned out so that'll be where i'll end this video this was just a little update for those of y'all following the project y'all have a good one i'll see you next time